County agrees to a hefty fine for sending hundreds of millions of gallons of raw sewage into Atlanta's creeks and rivers. Well, the million dollar penalty, it follows a decade of promises to quit contaminating a public waterway. CBS 46 special assignment reporter Sally Sears is live where the problems are at their worst. I can't even imagine what that's like for those people living in that area, Sally. Well, it's tough all over DeKalb County, but the southwest corner of the county is among the worst. This is Wesley Chapel and Snapfinger. Part of the water that falls here goes into the South River, but unfortunately, so much of it is mixed and contaminated with sewage because of the aging pipes here that it makes the river a mess. This blighted parcel in DeKalb County, you cannot rebuild on it. and You can't redevelop it for the folks who live in this part of the county because there's just not another flush left to fill those pipes or they would overflow again. In a Monday morning news conference, he outlined the penalties for failing to live up to promises made by past county leaders. A million dollar fine and four years to fix 103 repeat spills. Now DeKalb is agreeing to replace tiny pipes with very big trunk lines, meeting the Federal Clean Water Act with a new overall deadline for the entire county in seven and a half years. A deadline South River activist Jackie Eccles says is impossible to believe. Do you think the county can live up to this? Do I think they can do it? Uh, no. <laughs> if you want it in one word, uh, no. The county has agreed to fix the worst first. 103 repeat spill sites required that that be handled in four years. And the good news for this part of the county is that those repeat sites, mostly in the southwest quadrant of the county, in the, uh, in the watershed here, will be fixed first. But nobody's betting that that will happen immediately or in any time soon. Live in southwest DeKalb, I'm Sally Sears, CBS 46 News. Fred?